Hello everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about MagicQ and uh, Depends 2 uh, visualizer from Synchronon. So I'm using just a standard demo file from from Depends and all I did was I launched the program and I went to the uh, to the demo projects folder and I've selected the stage one. So this is all you this is all I have. I've done no changes here whatsoever and I'll show you step by step how to actually make the connection between MagicQ and Depends 2. So let's go. Okay, so what I did was first of all to, to make my life much much easier I actually imported all the patch from from demo uh, from the depends to into my magic cube how I did that I'll show you so first of all what I did was I pressed Windows here you go into the fixture manager okay maybe you already created your show file so I'm just showing you on a demo what you do so you open the fixture manager you press file you press export table Choose the folder you want to drop in. So I've, I've chosen the Magic Q show folder and I call it depends uh, underscore. And I saved it as a CSV file. That's all I did. Okay. So then what you have to do is you have to set up the connection on, uh, on depends. So for it to start actually looking for external control. And to do this, you have to switch on following. You have to go to the settings, okay? Then you press network settings. In the network settings, as in my setup, I'm actually running everything on the very same machine. So that's the whole point of not having external machine, but on the very same one. So, and for the artnet, you click here and you choose the interfaces that are available for you. So I've got my wireless interface or I've got loopback interface that inbuilt in the software. So I've chosen that one. So when you make changes here, you will have to restart depends. So choose the one that you need. So in my case, I've chosen for both of them a loopback interface and you can see the uh, IP address on a virtual loopback is a 127.0.0.1. Okay, so set up on both of them. We'll be using Artnet, but it's the same thing as with the streaming ACN. You press OK, and that Windows closes. Then another step you need to do, and uh, that uh, in order to set up the Artnet or streaming ACN connection, you have to press Hardware menu. Just press plus, and it's gonna offer you Virtual Show Player. You press OK. As soon as you do that, it will appear here as a DMX routing. So what I have done, so you can choose the Artnet input or streaming ACN input. Just be aware that uh, from what I learned, if you switch on the Artnet and you're running on the very same machine, by default, MagicQ start broadcasting Artnet. That means it sends the data across all the channels and that will easily uh, show that currently I have three universes enabled on MagicQ and it already shows they are active and it starts sending the data here. But we'll fix this on MagicQ side. So just for you to know, the from what I learned, the Depends 2 does not like the broadcasting channels, it prefers unicasting channels. So if you can use streaming ACN, perfect. In my case, I'm using Artnet and I will be showing how to set up the connection in uh, in Artnet on MagicQ. So I've set it up, as you can see now, it shows the three, three universes are coming, sending the data in. So what I have to do now is following. So I will go now onto my MagicQ side, and then I will be able to actually set it up there, and you will see step by step what I have done. So now I'm here, Let's start with the new creating new show file. I'll press setup, I'll press new show, and I press yes. I press normal, so we start with a basic show file. And as you know, MagicQ PC, even in a demo mode, outputs up to 64 universes with Artnet and streaming ACN, and you can go from 65 to 256 universes only for the inbuilt Magic Face visualizer. But in our case, we're using uh, de depends. So what we do here now, we will press patch and instead of patching in this window, as some of you already know, what you have to do is you have to press view channels and there's a button here called 
import heads. So when you click on it and it tells you, it warns you, it may override some of the ex existing patch channels, you say yes, okay? And then it's gonna bring you the window where you can actually choose uh, the file. And this is the file that we have, depends uh, underscore CSV. So I click on it and it tells me, what would you like to bring in? And in my case, I don't want to morph any or readdress the stuff because I might actually bring it into the new show file. Therefore, I just press add. So now you have to wait uh, for certain seconds and it will actually import everything in. Just uh, wait a little bit because the show file is quite big. And as soon as the import finishes, you will see that all the fixtures will be in uh, patched into the uh, into the console. You can see here the progress bar uh, at the moment showing the import to and so on and so forth. So just give a few seconds and then we'll continue. Now the show file has been imported and you can see, I mean, the CSV file has been imported and if you look at the view hats, you will see all the hats we have in the library have been imported for us. So now if we go to the layout one, you will see all the fixtures are already here. So this part is already done. So what we need is we need to set up all the networking side. So if you go to the setup and you look at the network, I already have another network been set up. So that's not loopback adapter. So don't worry about it. All you have to do is just choose any of the adapters and um, then you choose send to application on this PC. You have to set it as yes, because it needs to be able to send in the loop. Uh, loop back adapter. So this must be set as yes. Double click and set yes. Okay, that is uh, this option is only obviously relevant for the uh, for the Macs and PCs. That function does not work on uh, on uh, it's, it is ignored in the consoles. So the next thing you need to do is you have to go to the view DMX IO input output. Here I've just enabled three universes. I don't need to have anything else. Then what you do is you will, so if you want to enable it, just select this, select three universes, press enter or click here on this part and you set it as enabled. Okay. So the output type, you select this, it's like Excel spreadsheet, click here and it's going to bring you all the options it does support on those uh, universes. Choose the artnet. That's the simplest one. The output universes. Let's start from zero. Artnet normally starts from zero, and this is how we set it in that that has been set in the depends as well. So we will select this three universes. We can start with pressing zero and press enter. And like a Excel spreadsheet, it's gonna actually set as universe zero, one, and two. That's again, I'm just showing on three universes. So the the most important part you here will be if you use the arrows or the mice to actually scroll over here. As you can see here, at the moment it says broadcast one, a uh, unicast and broadcast uh, and unicast two. Basically by default, the universes here are set to broadcast data. That means it will be always sending the data across to all the universes and depends actually uh, gets this information, start change, uh, making all the changes and the, we don't want that. So what we do is we can actually select this universes, let's say, 12 of them because this is I think what we've got in the pens as well just in case we select them all you see it's selected like a, uh, with a mouse then what you do is you type in you click here and you type 127.0.0.1 and obviously that's relevant only because I'm running on the very same machine and I press enter so now this is all been changed into the 127.0.0.1 so what we do, what we have to do now is simply, if I move my console here and I select, let's say my Sharpies and I press locate, as you can see, the fixtures started working and we can run effects, let's say add effect, position, circle, everything is working just fine. So this is how easy it is to actually import stuff into the into the magic queue from uh, depends even in a demo mode so if you uh, if you have a chance uh, feel free download it get in touch with the with the synchronorm they will be they will be happy to send you the link to download the demo version uh, install it on your pc 
run it and just follow my steps uh, exactly exactly the same way I did and you'll be able to do it. Of course, if you don't want to import from your show file, you can create everything yourself. You can patch the stuff in and just uh, uh, just not use the CSV part of the of the uh, of uh, this tutorial. But for me, it's it's amazing step where you basically take the show file that you already created in this uh, really nice uh, visualizer, uh, export the CSV file, and just. Uh, import it into the magic queue and all the show uh, all the import is done so you don't need to do it again that's all for today i hope it was useful thank you very much for joining us and have a good day bye bye